Hey guys, welcome back to Star Studios. In this video, I'm going to be explaining a crazy Darth Plagueis theory that could change the way you look at Darth Sidious in a lot of ways. Now, I cannot take credit for this theory. Um, it was written by somebody else, so keep that in mind as you watch this video. So, by the time of the Phantom Menace, Darth Sidious killed his master, Darth Plagueis. Now, this theory states that Darth Plagueis actually did not die but lived from the experience. Now, he did not live in physical form, of course, but this theory states that he actually lived inside of Darth Sidious. The Rise of Skywalker first introduced the Force power of Transference, which is the power that lets you travel from one body essence into another. Palpatine did this when he traveled from his body essence in the Return of the Jedi into his clone body on Exegol. However, his clone body was incomplete. This theory states that when Palpatine killed his master, Darth Plagueis used transference and traveled his body essence in Darth Plagueis into Palpatine. Therefore, his body essence was in Palpatine, so Palpatine was really Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis went on as Palpatine until the point of the return of the Jedi. Now, in this point, he created a clone body on Exegol just in case he had to transfer into that body, which, of course, he had to. Skipping forward approximately 30 years, when Palpatine was in his clone body and was slowly dying, this is before he turned into all the Sith, he wanted Rey to kill him. Why? Some people think this is a plot hole, but it is actually not, because Palpatine needed, or should I say, Darth Plagueis needed, if this theory is true, he needed Rey to kill him because he needed a transfer out of his dying body into Rey's body. Rey's body was perfect for transferring into since Rey was the granddaughter of Palpatine. Now he didn't just need Rey to kill him, he needed her to kill him out of hatred. That way he could transfer. See, transference works for the Sith. If the person killing you kills you out of hatred. However, his plan was obviously thwarted when Rey did not kill him out of hatred, but killed him with all the Jedi. So there you go guys, that is the theory. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Also please give me a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to help me grow just a little more. I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you for helping me reach almost 230 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.